Hey, hey, Austin Nestley here, back in Columbus, Ohio, with some amazing six and seven figure entrepreneurs. Today, we're gonna show Liz Cox how it all comes back to the one most important thing. No matter how well your business is doing or even how bad your business is doing, there's another level to achieve if you get one thing right. That one thing is the mindset. Come check out this amazing episode of From Six to Seven Figures. Hey, hey, Austin Netsley here, author, investor, and founder of 2X. For the past two years, we've been working with six and seven figure business owners all across the world to help them get free from the day-to-day -day operations so they can scale their income and business faster than ever before. And now we're showing you the real life stories, the real life principles of what matters as you try to scale as we walk a handful of entrepreneurs through the journey to go from six to seven figures. Come check it out. All right, so tell us who you are and a little bit about your business. I'm Liz Cox and I have uh, books to go. We do bookkeeping and accounting and we're kind of heading into the CFO and controller fields as well. Nice, who do you guys work with? Uh, other businesses, so small businesses. Largest is probably about 20 million right now and we go down to the startups that are doing like 100, 200,000 in a year, so. Nice. Uh, how long have you guys been in business? Seven and a half years. Seven and a half years and your yeah. team, how big? Yeah. Seven people. Seven people, yeah, cool. Seven rock stars. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Tell us a little bit about the, the progression over the past few years to get where you're at now. So actually, before I ask you that, what's what's your current revenue per year, if you're open to sharing it? Yeah, like 750. 750 per year, and um, tell us about the progression to get there. Uh, are you yeah. accelerating? Have you been at 750 for a long time, the past seven years? Like, what's what's been no. the journey? Oh my goodness. No, we like doubled like about 18 months ago. Mm -hmm. So we went from 30 a month up to 60. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and then I was like, oh great, we're gonna keep we're going to keep growing. This is yeah. awesome and everything. And then, and then we stagnated at that point yeah. and everything. And I, which I thought was really bizarre and it was really exciting to get to there. A lot easier to be at 60 a month than 30 a month. I was like shocked at that yeah. because I have team now. Yeah, and so yeah. before it was all me doing 30, well, yeah. me and a couple people part-time. Um, the difference is like I have full-time people and I've gotten just excellent at hiring yeah. and everything, which I didn't know that earlier in my business. Yeah. So. And that's one key lever, which got you to where you're at. But mm -hmm. now we're talking about you're finally excited for, hey, I want to double again. Because totally. usually you've been coming to me, things are great. You're traveling. Uh -huh. You've got great freedom from the business. You just went on 12 week, or twelve day vacation yeah. where you only uh, had to work one hour. And right. even that you probably didn't even have to do necessarily. Well, but you worked I, one hour. I delegated that. So that one exactly. hour I did, I documented it. So I don't ever have to do that exactly. again. Exactly. Because now you know the power of systems, which is your next lever yes. uh, to start to get to the next level, right? Yeah. So you've got a machine that's now doing really, really well, really mm -hmm. profitable, and now we're ready to grow. Uh, but what's what's been stopping you from growing? Like what, what in addition to that, um, uh, has been uh, kind of the big bottleneck that's that's been holding you back? Because yeah. you've got the potential. Oh, yeah. Your clients oh. love you. Yeah. You've got a great service. You've got a great team. What's really holding things back? Yeah. Well, like all I want to do is like grow, grow, grow and, and market, but I don't feel like I can because we have all this like these things that are just like almost done yeah. and like everybody's happy about it. But well, I think everybody's happy about it, but like there's just that extra little bit. And yeah. until I have closure on that and close all those loops yeah. and I don't feel it's fair for me to grow my business yeah. when I still have current clients that we still have things that we need to finish up on. Right. And right. and that, that's that's huge. And it's that's just, huge, yeah. it's painful, honestly. Yeah. And it, it goes throughout my life. So just like in my business, there's these little things, dangling things. Well, I have that in my personal life too. Mm. And it's, it's just driving me crazy because mm. I feel like it's like part of my DNA, mm -hmm. but it shouldn't be. Yeah. So I yeah. guess that's, I don't know. That, I think yeah. that will be the game changer. Like if I had everything done, and we were just like sitting around looking at each other for a day or two, then like, okay, this is great. Now like day three, I'd like freak out and everything. Yeah, yeah. But like, I just want to have like, oh, we did it. Let's, yeah. let's chill. And then it's like, all right, now we've totally accomplished this. Now we're ready to like take it to the next level. Yeah. And that last percentage, whatever it's 2% or 10% or 20%, it's, it's so easy to do the first part, right? But yeah. it's like so hard to get things to completion. And mm -hmm. like you said, our business is such a good representation of our life and like we're missing out even though things are really good right now yeah things are really good but there's a, such another level in your life and in your business mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we're going to break down yeah so that's awesome let's get into it yeah without further ado let's give miss liz kabiz a <laughs> round of applause let's go first hot seat yes. all right Tell us what right. we need to know and let's get into it. All right, 
I would like to be to 100% in my entire life. So um, I'm a quick start person and I love starting things and I usually wait till the last minute till the pressure's on to like finish things and I'm, I'd like to be done with that. I feel like we don't even know what the expectations are so then we have to like delineate what the expectations are so we even know when we get to 100%. And then, um, and then like we'll need like support, training, delegation and everything. But like what I want out of this is tools that actually work for me for getting to 100%, whether that's delegating everything, and I'm really awesome at delegating, so that's no problem, but um, I just wanna be done with this part of my life of like, oh, everything's to 90% and I have all these open loops. I'd like to close all the loops. What are some examples of things? Like, What does that even mean, getting something to 100%? What's an example? Getting to 100% is the deliverables. It's like delivering what we said we were going to deliver. On time and on budget. Right? Yeah. And right now you're at 80 to 90%. Tell us about that. Yeah. So like I'm going to say 50% of our clients are 100% good. And then the other 50% are like 90% good. Like there's a couple things that we could do, but you know, they're pretty happy and you know, everything's going. There's just like these last few things that in order to be exceptional, if we did that last 10%, we'd be like exceptional. Right now we're just like really, really good. And then I feel like our new clients are at 90% and like somebody just needs to go through Janice, who I just hired and just finish up the files and say, done, this is complete and everything. Um, Liz, can I just clarify, you say that you feel like, you said it feels like these clients are 90%. Yeah. Do you measure how satisfied your clients are? Not so well. actually getting your clients like 50% of your clients you think are at 100%, 50% uh, you think are at 90% is story, because you yeah. don't know. Right, total right. story. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I have two big clients, and one of them is, I feel like, at 80%, and the other one's at 90%. The one have, I was working have you on asked them, have you talked to them to find out how they feel? Um, no. Okay. So some of your clients that you think are at 100% might think they're at 70, and some of your clients that are at 80% might think they're at 120. But you Absolutely. I would say that's a true story there. Cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Liz, do you have any area that you would say is at 100%? I feel like my hiring's at 100% right now, so. Um, so what differentiates that? What puts that at 100% versus the areas you feel like are at 80 or 90? I feel like we have capacity. I feel like we have enough people to handle all the work. Um, so there's, there's empty space. I feel like there's like, we can, we can breathe. It's like, like I've told my staff, like if we just, if we got everything done and we were just sitting in a room staring at each other for like two days straight, I'd be so happy with that. Now on day three, I'd like freak out and everything. But you know, if we're just like, ah, oh, there's nothing left to do. So that's, that's the feeling I'm, I'm looking for. Or not that there's nothing left to do, but we're, we're good. We, we got it. So you had the same problem when you had a lot of open invoices. And yes. Unbuild work. Yeah. Right? You, you feared the conversation about saying like, hey, you owe us more money because your business is growing. Right. Right, so do you fear the conversation of how well are we doing right now? Absolutely. Okay, so a tool you can build out is something like what we have in the Net Promoter Score, like a survey that goes out monthly and says, how well are we doing these 10 things? So let's mm -hmm. go one to 10 and get specific feedback from everybody. And then aggregate that feedback, and deal with your worst issues, right away and, and just triage it. Right, and if it went out on a regular basis monthly, then it's not this big like, oh, you get one chance this year to del tell us what you think of us and that's it. And so we're not gonna send it out until we think that we're perfect. Yeah, but also what, what you will probably find is talking to your clients and finding out, having an opportunity to engage with them is the best thing ever. And if they've got big problems, with what you're doing for them. That's a massive opportunity for you to learn and improve your business and serve them better and improve your business to be serving the rest of your clients better. And if they're really happy and everybody's at 100%, well then that's an opportunity to say, what more can we do for you? Right. Or to share to people who aren't clients yet and tell them, look at all these clients we're at 100%. Yeah. But, but it's talking to them that yeah. you get that. Yeah, because that's well, on upsells, we're at 0%. Like this client that I was working on on the plane, as soon as we get this project done, well, then we're going to double our business with them. They're just waiting for us to, to, you know, to show up and do it, but we're still finishing up this. So, and that's just one client. So. so that hiring that you said that you have at 
Yes. What does that do for your mindset and your ability to grow the business? Like, tell us more about how that makes you feel. It feels awesome. I have all the key players that I need. I finally hired for the CFO controller that I've been wanting for years. And I feel like just this 90 days or maybe the next 30 days will totally hone in on this part and get to know what we're doing and then we can just explode the, the business. Like I feel, I feel like we now have the team in place where we can go rock it and everything where I didn't feel that way before. And this is why it took me a year to call you because I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'm ready to like jump in and everything. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Yep. So, yep. yeah. So on the flip side of that, this 80 to 90%, the, the past to Liz, yeah. what's that costing you? Uh, the business, both uh, revenue wise, as well as uh, like your mindset wise and how that makes you feel. Yeah, uh, it, at least a hundred grand, I'm gonna say, you know, easy. And I mean, upside potential, I mean like honestly millions, because if we can get this millions. done, then we're gonna bring in more clients, we're gonna upsell, we're gonna like do, 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 do. But it's holding us back. Yeah, I mean, it's beyond millions because, I mean, it is millions because yeah, this is, this is the one thing that's holding us back of exploding the business is like, ah, but we're not, we're not done with what we already said we were gonna, with our prior commitments and everything. Yep. So, yep. yeah. And then mindset, my, my peace of mind. Um, I mean, that's the one thing that keeps me up at night and doesn't really keep me up. I sleep pretty well, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's just this noise in the back of my head. And, um, but we, like, we don't have anybody upset with us. Well, maybe one, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't reached out, so I don't know, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um, so Liz, how, yeah. how well do you think you focus? When? <laughs> when the deadline is on me and it's a, like, I don't mind missing deadlines. Um, that's, um, they're more of a guideline for me. And um, I get really focused when the heat's on and also, you know, like five in the morning when I've got my coffee and nobody else is around, that's a really good, I'm, I'm super focused then. Right, who keeps you accountable? Because you don't mind missing deadlines. Nobody. Yeah. You, now. Yeah. Uh, he, him before, now it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that we're going to be working on, and everyone can benefit from this, every week I want you to ask two questions. One, what went well last week? And then two, what was one major challenge or headache I had? And what we're going to do every single week is focus on that one thing. Because if we're getting rid of or reducing the major issue that we had the prior week every single week, one, we have focus, and two, that helps the business. So imagine if we did that every week for a year, how many improvements we would make and how many of those things that are at 80 or 90, we're going to get to 100% because we're focusing on one thing. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. And then we've got that one week deadline. Mm -hmm. We're not going to solve you know, world hunger in one week. We're going to solve one of these pieces and get them closer to 100 every single week. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What what stops you at 80 or 90 percent? What what is it that's stopping it from getting done? I, and I, what's not getting done of it? Well, like the client itself. I I don't know what stops me. That's that's like this is the very well ingrained in me when I was in. So I went to private grade school super smart, get to high school, went to public high school and everything was super easy. So I didn't have to show up for class. I just had to show up for tests. I test well. So I had, I created bad habits as a teenager is my theory yep. of just like, oh, I can just show up and not, not put work in and everything. And so now I just kind of have a like, okay, I'm gonna wait till I'm not gonna pass the class and I'll go do all everything that I need. And so it's the same kind of mentality. It's like, I, I don't know, there's, there's it, it's an irrational mindset thing that I think is Whoa, immature. Whoa, what would you just say? It's a what Irrational thing? Irrational mindset. So there's something called the 2X formula, right? And we started the day talking through this. There's 10 elements involved, but none of it matters if we don't address what? Mindset. Mindset. All right, so the first piece of this is the mindset. This is what we're really trying to solve. All right, there's several things going on here. One is your business is so darn dialed in that it doesn't need you. Mm -hmm. That what you're ultimately doing subconsciously is creating some excitement. <laughs> yeah, I do like excitement. You do, you like I a do. challenge, you like excitement. We all subconsciously want to create, we know that we want to create a business that doesn't need us. That's beautiful. Could you go for three weeks on a vacation and have to work one hour and be like totally relaxed? Very few business owners ever get there, right? But still there's this last couple percent that you still 
want the business to know, like we all do this, we subconsciously want to know that we're smart mm -hmm. and we want the business to need us. Mm -hmm. Even though we say that we don't, we right. subconsciously want the business to need us, mm -hmm. right? So we have to recognize that Kay. and let go of that. The other thing that I mentioned was the excitement, yeah. right? We need to have you go on a vacation every single month Yes. because that's your excitement. So then Creating. it goes back to step two. Beautiful. What's step two? Yeah. We got to go back and understand what the heck the vision. And this has to get us so fired up. If it doesn't, then we're just going to like not make, make the proper strides. Mm -hmm. So for your life, for your business, now I love the Liz right now because now you're like, I want to double. Right. You didn't tell me that for over a year. No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and now, same thing with Aaron. It's like, hey, I want to double. Boom. Now mm -hmm. we've got a strong vision that's going to pull us to that last 2% that you really need. Because mm -hmm. you're so close. You're so close. Yeah. Um, and the <laughs> other thing with mindset is uh, there's huge accountability here. And this is the case for all of us as business owners, right? Zach, you, you kicked off the day with, I'm lazy as shit. Because you don't have anybody to hold you accountable. Besides when I text you, ever say, hey, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> you don't have anybody holding you accountable, right? Uh, it's the same case for all of us. So you know what's way, way, way easier than holding ourselves accountable? Having your coach do it. That's one option. Mm -hmm. Holding others accountable. Mm -hmm. Let's take everything off your plate. Let's put an owner in place uh, that is somebody else. Yep. Like even your garage. Yeah. If you're a personal assistant, if you don't have one yet, we'll make sure that you do. They own your garage. Mm -hmm. Sugar owns so much of my life. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Yeah. Phoebe used to own my dating life. <laughs> and she was like, you know, so whatever. <laughs> like, let's, let's have people uh, uh, own that because you can hold them accountable. It's easy to do that. Right. Right. Yeah. And it takes the, the pressure off. We're business owners. You pay people. Yeah. And they're so much That's better great. at it. Like, so this is not it. my thing. So and they, they, again, people share torture. different things that they are passionate about up here. Mm -hmm. There's people that love whatever it is. Cleaning a garage. Organizing is not it. There's people that love it. Let's find somebody. Let's put a name yeah. beside it. All right. Every single thing. We need to get really granular on what's uh, holding us back, what success is, what 100% means. So you do have a list of this. You've got your garage. You've got all your clients and, and like specifically what that means. Yeah. Let's lift that out and put a name beside every single micro step mm -hmm. of that, right? <laughs> all right, and then the other thing, guys, just in general, you guys all seeing this, though? It all goes back to the freaking foundation, all right? We've got an empire here that's just waiting for somebody to take this to the empire space, right? She's been at, you know, multi six-figure, high-profit, good mm -hmm. phase, right? You're here because you guys aren't accepting good anymore. Right, so we've got to get this, then we go this, then we go this on up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are some things here. And guys, this is important for everybody. I'm just going to write over this 60 to 80 percent. This exact situation that we're talking about kills more businesses than just about anything. It's so easy to start something. The mm -hmm. boring time is when you have to do it a thousand times. All right, right. so we've got to put the, together the systems, we've got to put together the team uh, so that it can be done. You can hold them accountable and that it's easy. All right, let's get as much stuff off of your plate. 60 to 80% is what most six-figure business owners uh, live at. You can easily make a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, easily, just starting stuff, going from new product to new product, new thing that's shiny. But if you get stuff to 100%, that's where we talk about one, being number one in your niche, having a market of one, having zero competition, having that dream life that you're going to live. You're already 98% there. This is why I'm here. Exactly. That extra 2%. You already said that a good thing you do is hiring, right? Yeah. Building a team. So you just kind of hone in on who are those other people to get the things all the way done. Yeah. And give them right. the tools and the. Like before we had Aaron, I mean, our systems were like okay internally, right? And it just like exploded by having that one key hire. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You feel good? Mm hmm. Yeah. Let's give a round of applause, guys. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So as you can see with Liz, no matter what problem we're talking about, it usually goes back to one thing. It goes back to that mindset. 
All right, so whether you're at six or seven figures already, what you've got to do is go back and understand what are the real issues here? Because what we see in, in businesses that we work with is that it either goes back to a systems issue uh, or a mindset issue. And most of the time it's mindset. So what you've got to do is understand what core beliefs, what limiting beliefs are really holding you back because you could be doing really well right now. Like Liz, Liz is doing really well. She has a great profitable business. She can go on vacations, but she knows that there's another level and she's holding her business back from doubling and doubling yet again into the multiple millions and she's going to do that now that she's identified that mindset is holding her back she's going to go from 80 percent or 90 percent on some things to that final 10 percent that final 20 percent that separates so many entrepreneurs all right it's easy to start things it's hard to get them to 100 percent have that be a culture thing have that be a mindset thing focus on doing less but better get it to 100 percent and you will scale faster than ever. So hope you took a lot out of this video and this story of Liz and we'll uh, update you on her growth and all that she accomplishes here by applying these strategies. Now, what I want you to do right now is think about what this video, what this training, what the things that we talked about here means for you and what you're going to do about it. So take some time right now before you go and watch the other video, before you go back in your email or other social media, I want you to think, what are you going to do about it? What's your number one takeaway? Go ahead and comment below right now with your number one takeaway, your number one action. And we look forward to supporting you and getting that done. All right, comment below right now and we'll see you in the next video.